Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to plot multiple sets of data on the same line chart in Excel 2010. So first off, let's take a look at and see what we mean by this. In my final worksheet here I've got some data listed here on the left hand side and I've got a chart illustrating that data over here on the right hand side. My data are quite simple data. I've got 12 months here in a year. I've got revenue figures for each month. And then I've got shipment figures for each of four reason, regions. Now for clarity purposes here, what I've done is I've simply, for the southern region, I've just added 100 to the figure for the northern region. For the eastern region, I've done the same, add 100 to the southern figure. And for the western region, I've added 100 to the eastern figure. This is so that my lines, as you can see over here on the right-hand side, uh, don't overlap one another. So I've deliberately skewed my data here uh, in order to illustrate what I want to do with this chart. So I've got my monthly revenue figures and my monthly shipment figures for four regions and I want all of this to be plotted on a single chart and this is what I have on the right hand side over here. I've got a, a blue line across the top here representing my revenue and you can see that if you look closely here it represents, it starts off at 25,000 as it does in cell B3 and then it plots all the values for revenue by month over the year. And the data further down over here, the four different colours representing north, south, east and west, are plotting my four uh, different regional shipment values here. And these are plotted according to this scale over here on the right hand side. So my regional shipment figures are in hundreds and my revenue figure are in thousands. So the scale is much different. The revenue is plotted according to this scale on the left and the shipments are plotted according to this scale on the right hand side with my months across the bottom over here. So let's see how we go about creating this particular diagram. So my first worksheet here, I've got my data. It's the same data as I've had on the previous um, worksheet. I've got my monthly figures for revenue and for each of the four different regions. Now let's first of all see what happens if we just try and plot a simple line graph to represent each of the four regions. So I'm going to select north, all the values for north, south, east and west. Select all these values, choose the insert ribbon and select a simple line chart. Okay, So here we have the four different regions plotted here. So starting at the bottom, the blue line here in this case represents the north and we can see that all the values here are around 3400 right across the year. But let's take a look at the second one south. The red line here we can see in our column D the south figures range from 400 up to around 550 yet the red line is showing it's being plotted between the 500 and actually up to the thousand mark. The green line representing the east represents even higher figures and the western line up here across the top we can see that it's actually starting with a value of around 1700 or 800 or so. So what Excel has done here is it has accumulated all the values and these are cumulative values represented here and this does not ref accurately reflect the values for shipment on my diagram. So let's delete that diagram here and be careful not to use a, a simple line chart for a chart like this. So it's just not going to work. So that's that deleted. What happens if I select all my data and add in the revenue figure? So I've selected all the data on the chart, choose the insert ribbon and once again I'm going to select a simple line chart here. And if I can see if I can move my diagram over to the right, that this is m much messier again. I can see my revenue figures are plotted here, and everything is plotted according to this money sc monetary scale on the left-hand side. Um, but my data are all scrunched up, and I can't make sense of this particular diagram. So this simple line chart here with all data on it is not going to suit me either. So I'm going to delete that as well. What I need here is what's called a scatter diagram. So once again, I'm going to select all my data, so all my months, revenues, north, south, east and west data, select everything, choose the insert ribbon, and this time, instead of line chart, choose a scatter chart here. So I'm going to select that, and drop down, I've got five possibilities. I'm going to select the scatter with straight lines diagram here, because this is the one I had already used move my diagram over here to the right. Now we're not quite there yet, but if I look first of all at the revenue line represented by this blue line here, I can see that this accurately reflects the revenue figures here in column B, starting out at 25,000 in January and ending up at 31,000 in December. So I'm happy with the revenue line. But I'm not happy with the north, south, east and west. You can see they are being plotted according to the scale in thousands over here. These values are in hundreds, so not surprisingly they're going to be very, very low down here. We need these to appear according to a different scale. 
And what I want to do is put that scale over here on the right hand side. So I'd like to see my hundreds of shipments on the right hand side. To do that, I've actually got four lines scrunched on top of one another in here. So select any one of those lines, just click on them, right click the first one here and choose Format Data Series. Now we can see that the series is plotted on the primary axis, which is the, the money axis that we've seen, and I need to change that to the secondary axis. So that's just the radio button. Select secondary axis and click on close. Now we can see here, it's selected here, the light blue line has moved up the scale and it's drawn according to the scale in hundreds here on the right hand side. I need to move up the remaining three lines. So right click to select until you've got one selected. Right click, choose format data series and change from primary to second axis. That moves up the second of my four lines. Once again, select the data here. You, it might take you two or three goes to actually get the uh, line selected. Change from primary to secondary. We've got one left, which is the red one. Right click on that, choose format data series and change it to secondary as well. So now I've got my data well spread out at this stage, but we can see we've got a little bit of overlap up here at the top, and my scale over here on the right-hand side needs to be changed a little bit for that. So select the scale here, until you see it highlighted like this, right-click on this, and choose Format Axis. And up here in the Axis option at the top, I want to change the maximum figure. If you look closely at the chart over here, my maximum figure is 800. Uh, if I change that to, say, 1200, make the scale a bit bigger, in other words, uh, type in 1200 for fixed value for maximum and click on close. We can see that our chart values for our four shipments move down the chart. And I can see my shipment trends in here a little bit clearer and I've got my revenue figures in here so I can see that my revenue is roughly following the shipments for each of my four regions here. Now don't forget I have manipulated my data in order that these lines will appear separate to illustrate how this works. Your data are naturally going to be a little bit different from this. So that's how you plot uh, multiple data sets on the same chart in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.